Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Mr. Riley from Mr. Riley Reads and welcome to another video. Today I'm so excited to read another story entitled Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. Let's get into it, shall we? Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! Called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. Hmm, that's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's, it's my high chair, Peter whispered. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib is painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and a picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. And that was Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Peter eventually realized that he was too big for the chair and decided to give it to his little baby sister. What a marvelous gesture from Peter. And do me a favor. If you found value in this particular story, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified anytime I drop a brand new video or story. And matter of fact, this is one of my other stories that you might enjoy listening and reading as well. That's all we have today from Mr. Riley Reads. Continue to be safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.